Hi everybody, welcome to Zephyr's Travels. And in this video, we're looking back into 2019 and some of the highlights of things we've got done and places we've been. Right. that was one of our favorites is Oregon Inlet Campground which is located in the Outer Banks. Yeah that was a nice place to camp. It was a national um, campsite mm -hmm. and it was right on the ocean. Right. The weather could have been a little bit better but we made it through. We stayed there a week. So where are you? We're at the, our campground. What's the name of it? Oregon. Oregon Inlet. $28 a night. Why? If you're not a senior. Oh, if you're not a senior. If you senior, don't have the yeah, senior pass. It's $28 a night. And right. if they have spots for electric, it's $7 more than you can. And towards the end of the week, the weather cleared up and got really nice outside. Yeah, and we were able to go into Kitty Hawk and we did um, the Wright Brothers Memorial and we visited a couple of the lighthouses. Mm hmm. Yeah. And we did go out to the ocean. We didn't uh, stay there. It, was, it wasn't warm enough really to um, be on the beach. Yeah. I mean, it was windy. It was like a northeastern storm through most of the week while we were there. And like Diane said, when it got warmer, um, the rain kind of broke towards the weekend. It was nice. It was a great location if you like to fish. Yeah, it? that's true. Yeah, there was well, a lot of fishermen in our campground. Yep. What's the next one on our list? Um, Cooperstown. Oh yeah, Cooperstown, New York. Um, Baseball Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we stayed at the KOA um, in Cooperstown, which was, I don't know, maybe 10 miles outside of town. Mm-hmm. And we went in and we walked around the town and went to uh, the National... Um, the National B Baseball Hall of Fame. Right. Yep. And that was really neat. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're really not into baseball, and we aren't either, but it was a great place to visit. And the museum was very, very well set up and very well done. Yeah, you don't, I mean, you don't have to be a big baseball fan. I um, mean, we enjoyed it for the history. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the neatest things was to be able to go to Doubleday Field and sit in the grandstand and think back of all, them, you know, the famous... Uh, baseball players that had played on that field and you know throughout the years right we walked down to the lake the lake yeah and uh, yeah it was a very nice little area to visit yep yeah we definitely enjoyed that and, and that whole section of New York State is very nice that, um, at least eastern section of the state mm -hmm. next on our list next on our list would be Pocono racetrack Oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. We um, we met a group of uh, air, streamer. air streamers there that have gone every year for the past 10, ten years. years. Um, yeah. This was our first, and unfortunately it will be our only time that we can go and participate in um, the air event. Air Pocono. Is, yeah, the event is called Air Pocono. Uh, there weren't many... Um, airstreams there, unfortunately. There was like 13 um, airstreamers had shown up for the event, and that's down from like the first year. They said they had over 40. Mm -hmm. But we enjoyed it. Uh, the weather was nice, and uh, the where the RVs are, I mean, that was pretty well full. Uh, one of the things we were able to do is we rode our bikes around the track. Yeah. And um, we had infield passes. 
right we got to go into the the pit pit road yeah. and uh, get our picture taken or we had we did we took our picture yeah we took pictures next to the um, pit boxes on uh, pit lane right of our favorite drivers mine yep. being Chase Elliott and I think you took a picture in Joey Logano's pit. Joey Logano's pit. Yep. Being able to go on pit road was something in all our years going to NASCAR races we never done. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We uh, on race day, most of the um, participants in the Air Poconos stayed and watched the race on a big screen TV. We did have regular grandstand seats, so we sat in the grandstand. Right. Now we watched the truck race on Saturday. We went down and sat and right in the turn. Right. And that was a lot of fun. You could see quite a bit of the racetrack from there. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we enjoyed ourselves there. The next place we'll go is... We went. Her, huh? Pla next place we went. Oh, the next place we went, sorry, is the Hershey RV show. Yeah, that was that was fun because we've been to the Hershey RV show many times. In fact, we went there when we were looking for our Airstream. Um, but this was the first time we went and actually had media passes, so we were able to get in a day early um, when it was a little less crowded, and we actually stayed near the show and, and came back multiple days. Right, and the benefit of the passes were the media passes like Randy said, we were able to get in early and take a walk around and look at some of the trailers. Yep. And so it wasn't crowded and it was hot that week. Yeah. So once it got open to the public, it was very crowded. But we saw a lot of nice trailers and fifth wheels and motorhomes. Um, we saw the Tiffin motorhomes and we walked through all the Airstreams and the leisure travel vans and there was a lot of yearly unique stuff there um, right. that um, no bounds, uh, no boundary, um, small camper was kind of cool mm -hmm. um, and there was a few of the Soul um, campers, those were new and different. Uh -huh, right. Yep. And then there was that high end uh, fifth wheel that you know was custom built. Right. Right, and that was really nice to look at. Yeah, and yeah. then we met the people from Techno RV and, um, you know, talked with them a little bit, right. and, and that was neat. Yeah, there was vendors inside the um, Giant Center in Hershey, so it was neat to walk around that and see what products there were selling. Hershey RV show was a lot of fun, and... Um, we're actually looking forward, this is a little preview for 2020, but we're going to be doing the Tampa RV show in a few weeks. And right. we've again got media passes for that, and we're going to stay right at the um, RV show. We're going to boondock or a camp right in the fairgrounds. So that will be different. Right, it'll make it easier so you don't have to drive some, some, from some place you're right at the show and you can come and go to your trailer as you please. So, what's next on our list? St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, the oldest city in the United States. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, they offer a trolley tour around... Definitely take the trolley tour. Yep, around the city. And you can, they stop and you can get off wherever you want and then hop back on wherever you want. Yeah. Which was a nice, a nice thing to do. And if you're going to be there for, you know, three or four days or whatever, they do multi-day passes. In our case, they actually picked us right up at the campground. Right. That was uh, convenient. We were staying at a KOA in... St. Augustine Beach. Oh, okay. Yep. It was just, it was, wasn't very far from downtown, but... You know, parking there is difficult. The streets are small. You and you know, there's a parking garage that you can park in. Um, there's a few other lots, but if you got a large truck or something, it might be a little difficult to find a spot where be able to be picked up right at the campground um, by the uh, old time trolleys it was really nice. That was a lot more convenient. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we took the tour. And, and one of the things that we we did is, you know, we went back there multiple days. 
And the first day, you know, we took the whole tour. We got on the trolley, rode it all the way around. It was, what, maybe an hour and a half? Mm -hmm. And it got us a really good idea of what's around and what we wanted to see. And then when we came back, we were able to figure out where we wanted to get off and where we wanted to get back on and, and what we really wanted to spend more time. So we went to uh, Flagner College mm -hmm. and toured that. And, you know, we went into the Presilio, the fort. Oh, uh-huh. And, and walked around that. And that's a national park, so if you have a national park pass, that will get you in. Right. Um, we did that. And there's a lot of interesting little places to eat there. Um, great little donut shop. Yes, we found this donut shop that had donuts to die for. But you got to get there early because they sell out. Right. We and found that out the second day we went there. The second day was Valentine's Day. Oh. Wasn't it? It and they been. didn't have many donuts left at all, but we were able to find one or two. Yeah, but then we went back the, the next day, and there was none. Mm. There was the first day we were there, we got the donuts, and we went back, because it was right across the street from Flagler College. When right. we went back the next day, they were sold out. No, we got two donuts. They, were, they had cherry frosting. They were like their last two donuts. Okay. Okay. Now we got that straight. Right. Right. Food, I will remember what we got. Okay. But I don't remember what we had for dinner <laughs> <laughs> when we were there. Right. 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 Did we stop at a restaurant? No, it was a distillery. A distillery. Yep. So we ate the there. The ice house. Mm-hmm. We ate there as well. Was that, that wasn't the same day. No, that was, these are different days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there's a lot to see and do in St. Augustine. Yeah, that is definitely some place. If you're in Florida um, and you're anywhere near on the on the east coast of Florida, definitely stop up to St. Augustine. Plan on spending at least three days when you go there. It's uh, well, well worth it. Right. And another thing that we did that really didn't involve time in the airstream was we took Monty and Zephyr to get their picture taken or pictures taken with Santa. Yeah. And this um, was sponsored and was located at Lollipop Farm, which is in Fairport, New York. Yeah, and it's the um, Rochester Monroe County Humane Society. Um, and we've always been big supporters of that. And this is a uh, um, fundraiser for them that they offer every year. Mm -hmm. We've done it a couple times in the past with other dogs. In right. fact, we've done it with these guys before too. Oh, we have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. A couple years, couple years ago, we did it with them. Yep. And it's it's a lot of fun, and you know, we're link the video above for that um, if you haven't seen it already. Um, but it's a lot of fun to do. Um, you, and the photographer, you know, with us, really took a lot of time, took a lot of pictures. We really got some really great pictures of all of us and of just Monty and Zephyr, which was kind of cool. And with, Santa. With Santa Claus. Yep. And they had, I think, the best Santa. Um, he even had the voice. It was perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we were surprised that um, both dogs behaved quite well. Yeah. And we got some nice pictures of yeah. the two it's, of them. It's not that our dogs don't behave well. It's just that Monty is very shy around people and places he's never been to before, and he gets very nervous and doesn't want to, you know, go and and do things. And but he was very cooperative, and you know, he seems to be getting out of his shell a little bit as he gets older. Right. I guess all this traveling helps him. Probably. Well, we hope you en enjoyed this little look back into 2019 and. You know, as we're about to cross over, in fact, when this gets posted, it will be New Year's Day, so we will be into 2020. And you know, we've got some interesting things that we hope we, you will enjoy. Um, we're currently driving south um, for a few weeks, and we're going to take you along on that trip. And hopefully, we, you know, we've got definitely got a lot of interesting plan for next year. we got a trip to Canada, we've got a trip to Colorado. Yep, we will uh, be at the Airstream Nationals. Yep, we're going to go to the Airstream International uh, Rally. Mm -hmm. um, we will be t going to other um, rallies this year. And hopefully, we you know, definitely have some other trips that we'll get in mm -hmm. um, throughout the year. So we'll take you along that and try to find some more interesting places. 
you know, we don't like to plan everything out, so we can't tell you everything we're going to do for the whole year, but those are the things that we do have planned out at this point at a very, very high level, and we will work our way out through those. So what should they do if they uh, like this and want to see more? They should subscribe to our channel. That's right, and make sure to um, hit the bell for notifications because we do try to post videos on a weekly basis every Wednesday, and we'd love it if you just follow along. Right. Okay. so until the next video, we will see you down the road. That's right. Bye, everybody. Bye, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.